Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. Our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We want to hear from you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Purchase the longevity products right off the site. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can purchase Longevity products off the phone, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the phone. You can also click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories and blog posts up on both uh, on all our websites and uh, videos as well, and all the Longevity products, and the Join the Team link. Brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, if you're in the Orangevale area, Orangevale, uh, California area, Sacramento, uh, near Sacramento, I will be doing a talk on June 10th, 11 a.m., Orangevale Community Center. Call Jay at 916-712-9504. That's 916-712-9504. This Sunday, this Sunday coming up, June the 10th, if you're in the uh, Sacramento area, uh, we'll be talking about the simplicity of health, how easy it is to be healthy, how tragically unnecessary it is to suffer from a long-term chronic degenerative disease. Don't fall for the medical baloney. There's no drugs that can help you. You don't need to go to a doctor to have diagnostics. You don't need your HDL tested. You don't need your bone mineral density tested. You don't need your thyroid tested. Just go by your symptoms follow a few basic simple steps. It's so simple. It's tragically simple. And I say tragically because I talk to people who have the, the most horrific comp, uh, 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 constellation of symptoms, syndromes, just crazy symptoms from all over the body. And when you follow just a few little simple steps, at the, which, is, which function like, like the root of a tree with many rotten leaves, when you function, function just on the soil and the roots, the leaves just fix themselves. And that's what we'll be talking about this Sunday, June 10th, 11 a.m. at the Orangevale Community Center, 916-712-9504. How to leverage the amazing healing, pro healing powers that are built into the human biological system. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls a little earlier today. I've got uh, Missy Galladay in our last segment. We're going to talk... Uh, we're going to talk a little nutritional pharmacy. She's a nutritional pharmacist in California, who I've known for a long time, actually in Arizona. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about high aluronic acid, high aluronic acid. A lot of topical products use this stuff. You'll see it advertised in skincare products. It has a skin hydrating property. It sucks up water. 
you don't you don't necessarily need a lot of HA. Too much HA is actually kind of sticky, but in just the right amount, it can make the skin feel soft and hydrated. I like to use it in cleansers. It can relieve the uncomfortable hardness that's associated with using cleansers or using a lot of water on your skin. I have my I have hyaluronic acid in uh, my uh, plant derived fulvic mineral mist. Our uh, our biomimetic mineral mist. It's a high hyaluronic acid spray in addition to having minerals. You can find out about that at truthtreatments.com. Hyaluronic acid lends itself well to sprays because basically what you're doing is you're delivering some sticky water trapping HA, hyaluronic acid, to the skin. And if you do it in water, you'll have water right there. And the hyaluronic acid in the water and the spray will combine to form kind of a a, a film, a microscopic film on the surface of your skin that can have a softening effect. There's hyaluronic acid anyway in your skin. You have hyaluronic acid made by skin cells. Hyaluronic acid is part of the natural, uh, of the normal barrier, the skin barrier, the so-called stratum corneum. And obviously, its purpose is to trap water, to hold on to water. So hyalur hyaluronic acid has some really interesting chemistry stuff inside the body. It's involved in growth. It turns uh, cells on. It makes cells divide. Cancer cells express hyaluronic acid. They're, they're sensitive to hyaluronic acid. And there's some people who think that hyaluronic acid and cancer, uh, that because of the relationship between hyaluronic acid and cancer, that you shouldn't supplement with hyaluronic acid. It's not true. It's a great supplement. Yes, it's anything that grows is going to use hyaluronic acid, but that doesn't mean you want to suffocate the body or starve the body. Starve the body to starve the cancer. It's really kind of crazy. You know what? Nobody dies from cancer. No one dies from cancer. Cancer doesn't kill anybody. What kills people is the weakened body that's caused by cancer. This is the real flaw in how we treat cancer. This is why you're never going to find a cure for cancer, really. This is why we spent billions, maybe trillions of dollars in the so-called war against cancer, and we have pretty much just the same amount of cancer, if not more, as we had when we started. It's ridiculous. Our, we had to change the entire, the entire framework of how we think about or how we deal with this horrible health challenge called cancer. No one dies from cancer. You die from a weakened body. Cancer steals nutrients. Cancer disrupts how, uh, uh, has a disrupting effect on the body. But the cancer itself doesn't kill people. It's the weakened body, which tells you something very important. If you want to prevent cancer, or if you have cancer, God forbid, and you want to deal with it, strengthen your body. Make your body stronger. And there's lots of ways to do that. And that's actually everything we talk about on this program is about making your body stronger. That's how you deal with the health challenges. You make your body stronger. You don't focus on the health challenge and try to kill or eliminate the health challenge. You make the body stronger. And when you think about it that way, it completely eliminates the middleman, i.e. the medical man, because the medical man cannot make the body stronger, but we can. And that's where working on the digestive system, taking nutritional supplements, making sure you're stabilizing your blood sugar. By the way, I just read an article here, uh, which didn't surprise me, but it's nice when everything I talk about gets validated. This is from The Lancet, which is a very, very uh, prestigious medical journal. Worldwide burden of cancer attributable to diabetes and high, ma high body mass index. Diabetes, yes. This is what I've been saying. Blood sugar. Stabilize the blood sugar. It's a fundamental point. Cancer is a secondary problem. The fundamental point is the blood sugar as well as the digestive system and elevated stress hormones. And these are all things that we could do ourselves. We should be doing ourselves. And the upshot is, is when you do all these things, not only will you, will you reduce your risk or uh, reverse even things like heart disease and cancer for that matter, which remits, we know, good and well. They call it spontaneous, but they remit. Cancers remit. Stage four cancer remits. It goes backwards. It means if it can go backwards for one person, it can go backwards for anybody. You just got to figure out uh, what's, you got to deconstruct it. You got to figure out what's causing it. Anyway, make the body stronger. Work on the gut. Stabilize the blood sugar. Reduce your cortisol. Deep breathe. Exercise. All things we can do ourselves. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back on the bright side right after this.
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our new Retinol 1% Gel and uh, our new Biomimetic Prime, Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with plant-derived minerals, fulvic minerals, electrified minerals, and a high hyaluronic acid, as well as lactate and colloidal minerals. You can go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're talking about hyaluronic acid. The hyaluronic acid molecule is made up of two parts, two components. One, po one piece of the hyaluronic acid molecule is a very important player in detoxification. One, maybe arguably anyway, the most important molecule in all of detoxification called glucuronic acid, major detoxification substance. Glucuronic acid, like hyaluronic acid, is a complex sugar type substance. It's technically a sugar from a, from a uh, uh, high hyaluronic acid is anyway technically a sugar from a biochemical perspective. Glucuronic acid is arguably the most important detox element in the body. It's one of, anyway, we'll say it's, uh, remember, uh, detoxification is a two-step process. Step one is a prep phase. Step one uh, gets your poisons and drugs and old hormones ready for step two. And step two is where really detoxification takes place. Step one is kind of a prep. And step two, which is true detoxification, requires nutrients. It requires essential nutrients. The word essential means you have to have them in the diet. So if your phase two or your true detoxification system is going to be operating or firing on all cylinders, it needs to have key nutrients. That is how you support detoxification. All of these fancy schmancy detox formulas that people sell, they're secondary. Primary is your essential nutrients. Primary is your mighty 90. Sulfur, for example, cysteine, selenium, zinc, magnesium, copper. You know, you don't hear about these as being important for detoxification. Whoever talks about copper is a detox, a detox for detox support, or magnesium for detox support, or zinc. Well, they're, these are all of these are integral parts of the detoxification system. You can take all the herbs you want, but if you are deficient in zinc, like most of us are, who aren't supplementing, the herbs aren't going to work. The herbs only work because they support the nutrients. The nutrients are primal. The detoxification system requires the mighty 90 essential nutrients. So your healthy start pack is a detox formula, literally a true detox formula. And remember, if you're taking drugs, if you're on prescription drugs or you're smoking cigarettes or doing illegal drugs or drinking a lot of alcohol or abusing your body in any way, you're going to be deficient in zinc. And if you're already deficient in zinc, now you're going to be big time deficient in zinc. And if you're big time deficient in zinc, you're more likely to have a heart attack and nobody's going to think it had anything to do with the statin drugs you were taking. It's not going to show up on the package insert. But because it's depriving your body of the zinc, which you need for your heart, not to mention the magnesium and the copper, et cetera, you're going to run higher risk for heart disease and other health challenges. This is why the mighty 90 essential nutrients are the fundamental aspect of good health, fundamental to drugs, before drugs. And if you're taking drugs, it becomes extra important to get on the healthy start pack. If you want to do foods, there's, or, or uh, herbs, I should say. Green tea, which isn't really an herb, but you drink green tea. Green tea is wonderful for supporting phase two. And tasty. And you get a little buzz on top of it. Turmeric, one of the big reasons that why turmeric hasn't been in the news lately, um, over the last year anyway, or a couple years, turmeric is, uh, is a, a ginger-like root. It's kind of yellow. It contains something called curcumin. The curcumin in the turmeric is a powerful supporter of phase two. That's why it has all of these, one of the reasons anyway, it has all these multiple benefits, including fighting cancer. There's also a supplement called calcium D-glucurate, which you can get pretty readily. That supports step two. All of these, by the way, are, are important if you have estrogen problems, if you have PCOS or elevated estrogen or autoimmune diseases that could be related to estrogen, prostate disease in men, because step two helps eliminate estrogen. So all of these things, the turmeric, the green tea, 
zinc, magnesium, copper, NAC, glutamine, I forgot about that one, glutamine, really important, glutathione, glycine. All of these are important if you're dealing with prostate issues or autoimmune issues or Alzheimer's disease or thyroid problems, which uh, all, all, can be, uh, all of those can involve problems with estrogen. Cruciferous veggies are probably, I, I would go, I, I'm thinking there may be something I'm missing here, mushrooms maybe, but uh, crucifer, a, case, a very good case could be made for cruciferous vegetables as the ultimate detoxification foods. Mushrooms are probably close. But certainly they're an ultimate detoxification group of foods. Everyone should be enjoying cruciferous veggies every day. Arugula, bok choy, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. All of these are cruciferous vegetables. They're powerful supporters of phase two or step two detoxification. They're the ultimate or unultimate detoxification class of foods. Use, use them with salt and butter. Steam them slightly to release the sugar. They are delicious. Brussels sprouts have almost as bad a reputation as broccoli. Brussels sprouts, people turn up their nose at Brussels sprouts. Have you ever had Brussels sprouts chips? They are so delicious. You can make your own Brussels sprouts chips by braising Brussels sprouts. You release the sugars when you braise them with a, a coconut oil and salt and then uh, slice them up and drizzle butter on top of that, mm -mm, salt and pepper, or maybe Tony Chachery spices, whatever spices you like, oh my God, is that delicious. And then you'll be, and you'll be supporting detox and helping uh, eliminate estrogen if you're dealing with uh, toxic estrogen health challenge. So glucuronic acid, major player in detoxification, helps eliminate, helps the body eliminate um, estrogen, helps the body eliminate antibiotics, aspirin, Tylenol, Motrin, pain relievers, Motrin, and by the way, that's another good point. Motrin, aspirin, Tylenol, all those are going to stress the detox system. They're not, it's not like Motrin is a deadly drug. It's not like Motrin is one of the, it's not like a beta blocker drug, not like a toxic drug, like a calcium channel blocker or a prescription drug blocker. I'm sorry, a prescription calcium channel blocker or beta blocker or a prescription drug. Motrin's an OTC drug and, you know, people don't even think about it. They have a headache. They take a Motrin or a Tylenol. These things are going to put a burden on the detoxification system. And if you do them on a regular basis, you're going to run higher risks for other things that aren't going to necessarily be related or no, nobody's going to notice their relationship. Certainly prescription drugs are, are all going to do this. Glucuronic acid eliminates carcinogens, food coloring, dyes, car, uh, chemicals in food colorings and dyes and preservatives, artificial sweeteners, cigarette smoke. If you're eating a lot of hot dogs, the nitrosamines, the, the nitrates that are in the pre preserved meats, all luncheon meat has to be glucuronidated. And of course, alcohol. And you know what else? Glucuronidation, glucuronate, I hope, I hope that's not too overwhelming to say, glucuronidation. It improves the elimination of toxic, dirty, sludgy bile. When the bile becomes toxic and sludgy and dirty, it doesn't do its, it doesn't do its cleansing work as well. Bile's like STP engine cleaner. It cleans out the blood, it cleans out the body, it cleans out tissue, it cleans out the toxicity that accumulates in tissues, and it becomes toxic itself, and it can become poisonous itself, and glucuronidation can help there too. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open for you, and we will be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, your longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be deal dealing with, or if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number, and uh, I'm sorry, 866-735-2470 is the number for the, for the uh, Brightside Ben phone team if you want to get, uh, get on a good nutritional supplement program. If you have questions about your supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get to a couple stories here and then we'll uh, hit your phone, uh, get your phone calls. We're going to be talking to uh, my friend, nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay, in our last segment. So if you have questions, now's the time to get on board, 844-236-6010. From the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, published in JAMA Oncology, increase in lifestyle-related cancers over the past decade spotlights the need for prevention. Lifestyle-related cancers, such as lung cancer, 
colorectal cancer, and skin cancers have increased globally over the past decade, according to the most comprehensive analysis of cancer-related health outcomes and patterns. Here's the deal. Cancer is a sign of a stressed-out body, specifically of stressed-out cells, cells that have been starved, cells that, that have been suffocated, cells that have been toxic for so long, they do not know what to do. The way you prevent cancer is you are kind and loving to your body on all levels. You provide your body with nutrition, you stabilize your blood sugar, and you relax, and you make sure you're practicing your slow, deep breathing. A little exercise also doesn't hurt. It's not that complicated. Life, most of the cancers that kill us are lifestyle-based. And when they say they don't know what causes cancer, here's what causes cancer. Anybody who tells you they don't know, or it isn't, it isn't little mites and viruses and, and uh, all the things we attribute cancer causes to. It's cells that are suffocated. You take oxygen away from a cell, it begins to become a fermenting cell. It begins to become a cell that replicates like a bacteria. And one of the key features of bacteria, as opposed to regular cells, there's two kinds of cells, bacterial cells and regular cells, it's actually more, but there's two main, bacterial cells and uh, regular cells. The bacterial cells live for themselves. They don't form tissues and organs. They're independent, they're rogue. A cancer cell is an independent rogue cell, much like a bacterial cell. It ferments, it divides very rapidly. And it only a, a normal human cell, a normal animal cell will only turn go backwards in time to become a bacterial cell when it is super stressed out, particularly suffocated. And that's the key right there. You got to make sure you're, you're oxygenating. Now, oxygenation can be disrupted by inflammation and inflammation can be caused by eating the wrong foods, leaky gut, messed up blood sugar, etc. And that's where all that comes in. So it's basically the same stuff. It's all the same stuff. And that simplifies health. Look, I'm not that smart. I've just seen this a million times. Thousands, oh, I don't know about a million times, but many thousands of times. The body breaks down generically. Arth heart disease is arthritis. All diseases are basically deterioration of the tissues based on following disruption in, in chemistry. That's it. And that disruption in chemistry is all based on what we're putting into our bodies. It's as simple as that. Now, there's emotional factors, of course, and spiritual factors. There's also uh, toxicity issues that we can't control, the water we drink and the air we breathe. But in large part, we have control over how the disease process shows up. And it's not medical. That's the most important thing I could tell you. It's not medical. All right, one more, and then we'll get your calls here. 844-236-6010. From Stanford University, millions could have incorrect statin, aspirin, and blood pressure prescriptions. How do you like that? 11 million Americans, more than 11 million Americans have incorrect prescriptions for aspirin, statins, and blood pressure medications, according to a study led by researchers at the Stanford University School of Medicine. You know, we go to the doctor, we assume that they know what they're doing. We assume that everything is correct. We assume we're on the right drugs. We assume that we're taking the right dosage. You don't want to be assuming with these things. Medical intervention itself kills people a lot of the time, and the case could be made and has been made that it is a leading cause of death because we trust that the doctor knows what he's doing. Now, I'm not knocking doctors here. I'm just saying it's not possible for everybody to be perfect, and we pay the price at the end of the day. And this is why you want to take control of your health. At the le at, first of all, at the, at the level where you live, that is your kitchen and your bathroom and your living room, you want to take control of it via your lifestyle, and you want to understand how your body works. You want to understand what's going on. Understand what's going on. Take control of it yourself. We will become liberated from the medical model, from the medical model for, uh, for dealing with chronic long-term degenerative disease. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Melody in California. Good morning, Melody. Hey, Ben. Good morning. I'm hoping morning. you can uh, <laughs> help me yeah. out with my 16-year-old daughter. Okay. And Let's see what's she's up. had issues. I mean, since she was a baby, she was colicky. She had food issues. And then I discovered you, and we were able to take care of, like, the eczema, really reduce that with the food, um, okay. you know, removing foods that were what, whatever she had issues with. But she's always had uh, breathing issues, not the asthma unless she actually exercises, but she just has what she calls it's all the like, same part of the same like, thing. Same part, part okay, of all the like, same deal. Okay. What? What can we do? Because um, you've got to figure out what's setting off. 
Well, you, let me let me just tell you real quick here. It's very simple. Okay. You got to figure out what's setting off her immune system. You're on the right track, for sure. Mm-hmm. But she should have zero eczema, not not dramatically reduced. I mean, yes, you want to dramatically reduce. That's great. But you don't want to stop it dramatically reduced. If she still has right. eczema and she's got has breathing problems and she uh, goes into exercise-induced asthma, you haven't completely taken care of the attack. The body, mm-hmm. it, the mm-hmm. immune system is a defense system, and it's just like in a, with a country. A country doesn't want to fight a war on multiple fronts. When it fights a war on multiple fronts, it do, it's not as effective, and your immune system is now fighting a war on multiple fronts. So it, it's, it's uh, I should say, it's diverted to multiple fronts. So it's, mm-hmm. it, it's very unstable. So whatever gets into the system is going to, uh, any enemy that gets into the system could trigger some kind of dramatic response, like asthma, for example. So you haven't totally taken care of the load. The, think of the, right. the straw that breaks the camel's back. Your immune system's like a camel, and every, uh, every piece of food that gets into the system is like a, a straw. You haven't taken care of all the straws, so you're still being set off there too easily. So uh, okay. look for foods and look, patch up the gut. Do a food diary. All, you're on the right track, though. You've done great, but you just haven't done it completely. All right. Now, would and, a um, blood test work for no, that? No, no. I mean, you could, but there's false find... negatives. There's false positives. You got to do it yourself. You know, the, the what testing. What about environmental? It could easily be environmental. Be... As yeah, absolutely. But it's, most systems won't be destabilized that dramatically environmentally, okay. unless she's drinking. Unless like she's drinking water that's really toxic. Sometimes fluoride okay. can do it, but. For most people, that won't happen, and you got to have control where you can control. You know, and you can't control long, every. Okay. Go ahead. How long does it take from the time that you're doing a food elimination? How long should you wait for something like with the lungs? I mean, how long does it? You'll know. It'll happen. In, it'll happen in two phases. It'll happen immediately for things that are causing okay. an immediate problem. But some of the problems will take longer, a long term. Like gluten takes a while to get out of the body, for example. So it, okay. some, of, some of the things may take longer, but you should start to notice okay. results quickly, at least some results. But keep, as she gets going, the good news is as she gets going, she'll get better and better. Thanks for your call, Melody. Okay. Appreciate it. I hope Thanks. we helped you out. Thanks. Okay, take care. Okay. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're going to come back with... Uh, oops. We're going to come back with uh, uh, my friend Melissa Galladay in our next segment. Don't go away. Back on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Uh, 844-236-6010. Can't get a hold of Melissa. I'm not sure where she is. So we'll just take your phone calls, and I'll continue reading some stories here, too. If we don't, we have no calls, so I'll just continue reading stories until we do. If you want to purchase our True Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the bright side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can always check out our blog posts and news stories at all three websites. Call 866-735-2470 if you want a real live human being. Okay, from uh, the California Department of Pesticide Regulation. Over the pa- uh, before you take a dip in the pool this summer, be sure there's not too much chlorine in the water. Over the past 10 years, more than 500 people in California have been exposed and sickened by too much chlorine while swimming, according to the California Department of Pesticide Regulation. More than half of those, more than half of those affected were public pools, and about 66% of the incidents were not caused by faulty equipment. In other words, they just put too much chlorine in the pool. You know, swimming, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but swimming in a chlorinated pool is not a great idea. Like chlorine is toxic stuff. It's going to get in your system. It's not good for your skin. If you do go swimming in a chlorine pool and chlorinated water, what you absolutely 100% want to make sure you're doing is getting your vitamin C, which is one of the best ways to detoxify from chlorine. Vitamin C also topically can help with chlorine detoxification. And after you come out from the pool, use topical vitamin C, at least on your face. And that's also true after you wash your face with tap water, which is chlorinated. Vitamin C is one of the best ways to protect your skin from aging from fluoride, or from chlorine and fluoride for that matter. So be careful of the swimming pool. When you get out of the swimming pool, um, make sure that you're at least sipping on your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, at best doing higher doses of vitamin C, and then spraying yourself or applying some kind of topical vitamin C 
uh, to the surface of the skin to mitigate some of the chlorine damage, which most certainly can accumulate on the skin in addition to being acutely toxic. Okay, now I, I don't mean the chlorine accumulates on the skin, but the chlorine effects accumulate on the skin. All right, we do have Melissa Galladay, my good friend who I've known for many years and nutritional pharmacist. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, our talk on Sunday. Melissa, you there? Yes, sir. What's up, Melissa? How you doing? Doing great, Ben. It's a good, beautiful good to, day here in Phoenix. and good, uh, to, good to talk to you. And let me ask you a couple of questions. We only got a few minutes here. First of all, what? Tell, how did you get into this? You're a pharmacist, right? Regular old pharmacist like me. How did you get into this yes. whole nutritional idea of working with nutrition as a pharmacist or as you like to call yourself, nu, uh, nutritional pharmacy? Or nu, How did you get to being a nutritional pharmacist? Well, as I started out, you know, one of the things I didn't realize in school was, hey, these people plan on using these drugs forever, <laughs> and they don't really tell you that, right? They don't teach you that in school. Like, once we get them on them, we're going to leave them on them forever. So, right. first thing I would notice is somebody was starting on a data blocker, coming a couple months later, now they need a, um, some Viagra, Right. Um, I'd also starting to notice their skin tone changing. I noticed uh, the normal color of the skin. You can actually see they had the rosy glow. Right. And anyone that was using medications chronically would start to develop a little bit of a gray pallor. They're basically and, dying, uh, They're ba which like occurs like right before you die kind of thing, right? If you've yep, ever seen a, yep. a person, they're slowly dying. That's what happens when you're on a prescription drug. You're slowly killing yourself. But how did that lead you to, you know, a lot of people see, a lot of pharmacists see that, but how did you, that lead you to getting to the whole nutritional thing? Well, I definitely understood biochemistry. And like I said, I even though I studied it ardently, I studied, you know, the biochemistry, et cetera, and also the mechanism of the medications in school, I, I, I really didn't understand until I started practicing retail pharmacy that we were going to use these medications long time. I was very focused on the acute usage of these medications, not really understanding that there was going to be the long-term use. And once I saw the long-term use and the wear down, I knew that it wasn't right because we were not addressing the underlying mechanism. We were only addressing the symptomology i.e. correcting the labs, but not really addressing any of the biochemistry. And that was right. hard to see. So one of the things I would I did right away, just that was my style, is I would say, did your doctor talk to you about diet and lifestyle? And back then, I would say 80% of the patients would say no. How? What's back then? Not, How long ago? How long ago? Uh, that was... Uh, Early 2000s, I graduated in 99, so we're almost coming up on 20 years in practice. And then I would kind of wait for the, per you know, I would dispense 800 medications a day, Ben. And uh, so I see, that means I had to see and interact with at least 800 customers a day, right? Now, wait a minute. Where were you, where were you doing, where were you working to do dispense 800 prescriptions a day? That's a huge uh, amount. Do you, do you know Denver? Colorado. There's a pharmacy down there on um, Hampton and the. Uh, it was a. It was a 225. independent farm. An independent pharmacy no, no, was doing no. eight. No, Kroger. Okay, Kroger. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, there's some unhappy pharmacists I've noticed working over there doing 800 scripts a day. That's amazing, by the right. way. Right. Holy cow. But what cow. was fun about it, and I want to share this with everyone, is that. I would look for that little glint that someone would have that they wanted extra information, right? You assess your clients. And I'd say back then it was about three out of 10 people might be interested in something extra, I had to say, you know, like diet and lifestyle. What about your diet? What about your lifestyle? Last time I practiced in retail, which was two years ago, that number has reversed then. So that's some good news. I actually good see news. the glint. Yep, I see the glint in eight out of 10. And I'll, I'll give them their prescription and I'll say, would you like to learn a little bit about things you can do outside of medication to reverse your condition or to alter your condition? And eight out of 10 people now will say yes, eagerly I, I love say it. yes. I love it. That's awesome. That is very exciting. You know, I, I didn't realize that the difference was that big in 17, in 19 years or in, in just 20 years. I know it's, it's increased a lot. And you, you, can you imagine what it was when I started, like in, in the 80s? 
It was like no, you were a whack job. You were a total <laughs> nutcase. <laughs> You're a total nutcase. But and that That's one out of ten, does. that was like one out of a hundred or one. But you know the thing is, it works because it, the stuff works. It grows, so it becomes over the courses uh, over the course of the years, it goes from one to ten, one out of ten to two out of ten to eight out of ten. Hopefully soon, ten out of ten. So how did you get? Now you're doing longevity, right? Yes, sir. So tell, how, tell me about how's that, how's that going? How'd you get into that, all that? Well, that's going great, and I definitely got into that through you, and grateful for that. You did originally offer me the opportunity back in 2010. I wasn't ready for that at the time, but in 2016, I picked up the baton and have been, been working hard, and I love it. And to your listeners out there, if there's any medical professionals that want to work with other medical professionals, I'd be honored to work with you directly. And uh, trust me, it's coming, you guys. And I know a lot of you are frustrated. A lot of people out there, a lot of people that are in medicine are frustrated because they did not get into medicine to watch people get sicker. You know, they went in there to help. Now, are you doing anything? Are you involved with that talk I'm doing in Sacramento? Does that have anything to do with you? For sure. We're... There's going to be a large portion of our team in the Sacramento area, and then, as you know, we'll be doing a talk. So that'll be Sunday, June 10th at 11 a.m. Good deal. It's going to be at the Orange, yeah, Orangeville Community Center, and the address is 6826 Hazel Avenue, and that's Orangeville, California. That's right in the Sacramento area. And if you do want to join us, we'd love it. RSVP, you just go to criticalhealthnews.com, and there is an RSVP tab. You just click on that, put your name in there. We'll definitely be circling back and calling everyone. Okay, so I'm really excited it. to see them. Mm-hmm. So, so there's a, on criticalhealthnews.com, there's a RSVP thing. I, I didn't realize that. That's, that I, I talk about criticalhealthnews.com all the time, but I didn't realize they were putting the events on there. So that's good to know. All right. Good deal. Thank you so much, Melissa. It's good to talk to you. I love your story. Keep up the good work. Thanks, and, uh, you and too. T- carry on with that baton. I love it. Thank you so much. I'll talk Woo-hoo! to you soon, I'm sure. All right. All right bye, Melissa. Care. Bye-bye. All right. Yes, if you are a healthcare professional, you did not get into the business to watch people get sicker. You want to understand how nutrition works. And because this is a business, you can add it to your business. Uh, you can add it to your uh, you can add the products or add the concept to your business. You could do classes. I can come teach classes for you, uh, along with you, I should say, uh, at your clinic. If you have a clinic, it's a great business for healthcare professionals. It's a great business for housewives. It's a great p- business for people who are working and want to supplement their, their income as well. Uh, call 866-735-2470 for more information about how you can join the Brightside Ben team, or you can sign up off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Thanks for listening to the Bright Side. Have yourselves an awesome, wonderful beautiful spectacular day i'm pharmacist ben we'll talk to y'all later bye for now